The Experimental Passenger Orbital Aircraft Program, also known as Spiral, was a Soviet secret project created to develop an orbital space plane and fighter spacecraft. Work on this multipurpose spacecraft began in the early 1960s in response to the American shuttle program at the height of the Cold War. The objective was to build a vehicle that could fly in orbit at Mach speeds and function as a reconnaissance, bomber, and interceptor spacecraft. The Spiral MiG-105 crewed test vehicle resulted from years of research and testing, and the orbital space plane flew for the first time in 1976. However, achieving their desired Mach speeds would prove a more challenging feat than expected. Spiral. The British, French, Soviets, and Americans greatly benefited from the thousands of German scientists and engineers abducted after World War II to help them push the boundaries of modern technology. This included weapons of mass destruction and aircraft designs that got humanity closer to reaching outer space one day. While the Americans struggled at first to keep up with the achievements of the Soviet Union, and especially the feats of cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin, the creation of NASA put the United States on a path of steady improvements. It was then that Chief Commander of the Soviet Air Force, K.A. Vershinin, envisioned a one-of-a-kind project. To stay ahead of their enemy, Vershinin presented a proposal to Vladimir Miyashishchev, head of the Central Aero Hydrodynamic Institute and other aerospace manufacturers, to develop orbital and aerospace vehicles. Vershinin wanted to build a vehicle that could be pitched against the American X-20 Dinosaur, or Dynamic Soarer. Developed by Boeing, it was rumored that the X-20 was meant to be the first U.S. Air Force multipurpose space plane and that it would be used for aerial reconnaissance, satellite maintenance, bombing, and space rescues. This program would ultimately run from 1957 to 1963 with average results. When the details were leaked, Roshinin was confident that the Soviet Union could develop the first spacecraft capable of orbital flights. After insisting for several years, Roshinin's idea finally materialized in 1965 when Gleb Luzino Luzinski from Mikoyan's OKB-155 Design Bureau was assigned to oversee the development of this air orbital plane, or VOS, as it was abbreviated in Russian. Z.A. Yaffa, chief of the TSNII-30 Research Institute of the Soviet Air Force, would supervise the program, along with other military and space organizations. The program would be known as Spiral, and its main objective was to develop the Soviet orbital fighter and study the possibilities of waging war in space with horizontal takeoff and reusable landing spacecraft. Three models. The Soviet Air Force and the Russian Aircraft Corporation MiG, also known as Mikoyan, proposed that the orbital fighter be configured in three different versions. The first one was a reconnaissance version of the Spiral that would carry radar and a state-of-the-art camera with a 0.75 to 1 meter resolution to conduct spy plane missions straight from orbit. The second one was a bomber version that would be equipped with powerful orbit-to-surface missiles capable of striking targets on Earth. Finally. The third version was an interceptor that would be used for dogfighting and destroying enemy vehicles in space. Although Spiral gained a lot of attention from the Soviet High Command, Mikoyan felt the pressure of unmanned satellites that were already in use. However, Spiral had two advantages, its expected cost-efficiency ratio and the flexibility of having a fast-response orbital fighter as a backup. Preliminary studies included developing three full-scale models that were part of the so-called Experimental Piloted Orbital Plane, or EPOS, sub-program. Each model was made explicitly for wind tunnel testing at subsonic, supersonic, and hypersonic speeds. The initial results indicated that the 6.8-ton vehicles could reach 160-km orbit with an inclination of 50 degrees after being launched on top of an R-7 rocket from the Soviet base of Baikonur. The supersonic and hypersonic configurations would later be equipped with rocket engines that would give them a thrust of 26 tons, and this would translate into speeds that range between Mach 6 to 8, or 8 times the speed of sound. Spiral MiG-105 Laput. The Spiral MiG-105 spacecraft had a unique design and quickly earned the Russian nickname Laput, which translates to bashed shoe because of the peculiar shape of its nose. The Vertical Takeoff Horizontal Landing Vehicle, or VTHL, had a standard delta wing that featured innovative variable dihedral wings. During launch into space and re-entry into the atmosphere, the wings folded upward at 60 degrees. As the speed of Laput decreased to subsonic, the cosmonaut would lower the wings to the conventional horizontal position to facilitate flight. An air intake for a single turbojet was mounted beneath the vertical stabilizer to allow the spiral to perform a powerful landing or a go-around maneuver if it missed the landing approach. Laput was designed to land on skids deployed from a set of doors on the sides of the fuselage, 
and the pilot had to climb into it through a hatch above the seat. The spiral would be protected by a scale plate armor made up of niobium alloy and molybdenum desilicide steel plates that allowed for thermal expansion during re-entry to Earth. In the case of an emergency, the pilot compartment was designed to separate from the rest of the vehicle and parachute into the ground as if it were an escape capsule. Controls comprised rudder pedals, a standard control column, and separate controllers for the jet and rocket engines. An SANU, or Automatic Navigation and Control System, measured the aerodynamic controls. Propulsion consisted of a single Kolosov RD-3635K turbojet, and 500 liters of fuel were enough for 10 minutes of cruise at full thrust. The propulsion system included a liquid propellant engine with a 1,500 kilogram thrust, while two backup engines provided another 40 kilograms. Fully loaded, the spiral weighed over 4,220 kilograms. It measured 10 meters with an approximate wingspan of 6.8 meters and a wing area of 24 meters. Expectations From 1965 to 1967, the wind tunnel models were intensively tested at the TSAGI Research Institute in Zukovsky, near Moscow. A final design was eventually approved, and the Institute proceeded with vehicles launched by expendable rockets to test it at speeds that ranged from Mach 3 to Mach 14. Besides Mikoyan, other design bureaus also participated in the project. They included the Liuki Design Bureau to develop the engine, K.B. Karalyov Design Bureau for the two-stage rocket accelerator, and other renowned Soviet agencies. However, the program had difficulties when it came to developing the hypersonic version of the spiral, as there was no technology available at that time to achieve the desired Mach speeds. The spiral program was then stopped in 1969 and did not resume until 1974, when Soviet spies informed the Kremlin of the American development of the space shuttle. The test vehicle finally made its first manned flight in 1976. Flown by pilot A.G. Festivitz, Laput flew well at subsonic speeds. Eight more flight tests followed sporadically until 1978, when the government officially canceled the program and focused on the Energy Aberan space shuttle, widely regarded as a copycat of NASA's own space shuttle. Although the spiral never left the prototype board, the data gathered paved the way for other Soviet space projects before the Soviet Union crumbled in 1989. The surviving prototype of the spiral space plane can be appreciated at the Central Air Force Museum in Manino, Moscow Oblast, Russia. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to find more exciting historical content. And let us know in the comments below what you think of this unique crossover between a spacecraft and an aircraft. Had it been produced, do you think the orbital MiG-15 could have played a significant role in the space race?